So your shout outs for this video goes to Brian Galeas, Falco Flair, Greenflower9106 and Nathan Graveson and Aaron Goddard as well. If you want a shout out in our next video then please comment down below and let's get into this theme park newsroom update from Legoland Windsor Resort. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shard Longster Bourne, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a video today, a Theme Park News from Update, where today we're going to be talking about Legoland Windsor. Now, I must stretch first of all, we do have another update coming later from Future Q Highland. We uploaded a live stream, the first live on the channel, uh, that is up as well. I've also pre-recorded a reaction video for the reaction videos playlist where I'm looking at the scariest fire safety PIFs, the public information films. So... That is a nice non-theme park video for you guys to enjoy. And um, yeah, that'll be coming in the next week. That'll be uploaded, edited and uploaded within the next week. And um, yeah, I'm very excited to release some content. Obviously, I spoke on that live stream about future plans, like books, tours, meet and greets, things like that uh, for the future. Uh, but for now, guys, let's get into this theme park news update. And before we get started, here is how you guys can interact with the channel. If you've loved this video, make sure you hit the like button below. Make sure you also comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the video topic. And also make sure you subscribe to Coach Chal YouTube channel for more. And click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share the channel with your friends, your family and our social media. And make sure you also comment down below your video suggestions which will be saved. Your shout outs which will be saved for the next day's videos. And also make sure you send in your merchandise continuously on Instagram and Snapchat. The links for both are in the description down below and I'll save your merchandise pictures with your name and location for the next merchandise showcase video. Also make sure you get your questions in the comments down below. Use the hashtag question before or after your question and they will be saved for our 2000 subscriber Q&A. Also guys, make sure you reach that subscriber goal of 10,000 subs in the next 365 days and counting. If we do that, I will release Coaster Child merchandise on a new website as well as other projects I've got planned for the long term future. Let's get into another thrilling video. So massive shout out to South Parks for the, for the information as well as the pictures in this video. But Legoland Windsor Resort have submitted new plans to the Royal Borough of Windsor and Maidenhead Council for the redevelopment of Adventureland, indicating they'll be changing the planned Lego Movie World to a new theme. Codenamed Project Rex, the original plan submitted in July 2019 and approved earlier this year, proposed to redevelop Adventureland into the Lego Movie World. However, in plans submitted in the last few days, the resort have stated that plans are now changed and they wish to amend the application to reflect a new, as yet undisclosed, theme. The core type of attractions as well as proposed retail food and beverage and meet and greet opportunities will still remain in place, however these will now be redesigned in line with the new theme. The main attraction within the proposals will no longer take on the appearance of a dog with its tongue out, instead the building will have more a natural green colour palette and feature arches on its front, um, some of which will contain a graphic of what appears to be assorted Lego bricks as well as a 9 metre tall white Lego sculpture outside the front. The theming features at the top of the drop towers will now be flame type elements which will surround television screens showing inappropriate video for the ride. New play equipment planned to be built next to harbour side fishing ships will also reflect the new theme and colour palette whilst the paths around the land will feature a natural colour palette with brew crystal looking veins and a red brown surface around the drop towers. The photo opportunity and building and games unit that featured in the original plans have also been retained and rethemed. However, the former is now referred to as the build room and the latter now indicated to be a character meet and greet. Little clue has been given in the new plans as to what the new theme for the area will now be. And with the only comment being that the theming will be relevant to the part when it opens in March 2021, this suggests that despite the change in plans, the resort are still planning to open the new area for the start of the 2021 season. So that, my friends, is the latest from Legoland Windsor on these brand new uh, plans, these updated plans with a brand new theme. Now, before I get going on predicting what I think the theme would be, the brand new theme, I'm going to tell you why my, what my theory is as to why Lego Movie World theme has been dropped from the area. And it's all to do with the planned Lego Movie 3. I think it's to do with that. And it's because that's been reportedly cancelled, I think. 
and um, I think and I believe Universal seem to have bought the Lego movie rights for themselves so all rights to Lego movies have now gone to Universal and not Lego but um, we obviously we now have a more clearer picture obviously with uh, Lego Movie World going and this brand new thing coming in now of course speaking about the predictions to what I think it will be they could go along the route of I mean my first guess was Batman my first guess was the Batman series but like I said Lego Movie World 3 has been cancelled and Universal apparently may have got the Lego the, the Lego movie rights. So they got all the, all the Lego movie rights. So they can include them in the Universal parks, but I'm not too sure if you can include other Lego movies in the park anymore. I'm not too sure how it works, but if they can't include any more Lego movies, then you can't do Batman, you can't do Jurassic World, you can't do anything like that. You've got to do something original. I think they can still do a dino themed area. Uh, I think they can still do that. But it will be very, it'll have to be very, very original and try and stay well clear of the Jurassic World brand in any way, shape, or form with any names that they use in the films uh, and the Jurassic World game. I think there is a game out there now. So anything to do with Jurassic World and the Lego games or the Lego movie, uh, uh, any Lego movie references to Jurassic World or any um, references in the Jurassic World game for Lego. They can't really use that. They have to do something completely original with a dinosaur theme. And I think the green palette, uh, the green color palette scheme, definitely reflects some kind of prehistoric, especially with the the flame elements on top of the family drop towers. I think that could give us a vital clue as to what kind of theme we're looking at here. Um, but obviously, all will become clear in due course. I'm sure they'll hopefully reveal uh, in the next few months what the new theme will be. And finally, just to reflect on what it said at the end of that article, again, massive shout out to South Park for the pictures and the information used in that video. That was all from the South Park's article. I'll link that in the description down below. But it did say that all plans seem to indicate towards a March 2021 opening. Now, despite these change in theming and the change in plans, it'll still be opening in 2021. So I know someone commented saying, why don't you do a video uh, which looks at all the 2021 attractions. I will do that. It'll be in the Theme Park Newsroom playlist uh, this winter. Uh, so when we get into 2021, it will be a whole video selection. So we'll have 2021 attractions for the UK, Europe, America, Asia, and the rest of the world. So that will all be five separate videos. I was going to do it this year, uh, back at the start of this year, but I didn't really uh, have much time compared to other video projects. So I kind of scrapped it for now. But I think I'll probably will bring that in uh, next season, uh, start of next season in, Jan in around January, February, before we start the season. Um, so obviously this will still be opening in 2021, um, and obviously you know, like I said, in the next few months we'll know what kind of theme it is. But the fact that there's a change in plans and they're going to still open it in March 2021 or try and get it ready for the start of the 2021 season is a very good sign. Very, very good sign. And it tells me they've pretty much got the theme sorted for it already. So, uh, I think it's just a case of waiting to see what happens, really. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this Theme Park Newsroom update. Make sure you stay tuned later today for a future Q Highland update and throughout the week for more videos. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, kill on the coast of life. And I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome time.